morning, my dudes. It's not that early. I got myself a coffee and a bit of toast. Well, it's Friday, so we'll see how this, um... Friday's kind of like a mini castle run, I guess. We gotta move quick. Should have been up earlier. Just yesterday totally wrecked me. And, uh... Now... Uh, I feel like I'm getting sick. I mean, I, I know I've got, like, some congestion and a sore throat. That doesn't usually last long in my body, so... I think that'll be fine. It's a very pretty day, though. It's about five degrees. There's a lot of moisture in the air. Half of it is rain, and half of it just isn't sure where it wants to be. Heavy mist. I'm gonna have wet hands, but that's all right. Ugh. Ugh. Let's go see what we can find. <laughs> problems this morning. I went to my first area. That's kind of the my favorite part on a Friday because it definitely produces the most. It's just you had like a bunch of little loops. They were all dumped. Um, all of them done. So I went to the second section and uh, the second section has also been dumped. It's only nine in the morning so I don't understand how uh, this doesn't normally happen. Like I was there last week at nine and I'd missed a like one of the, I got there at the same time as the trucks, so they're really uh, on their game today, and that's kind of miserable for me. Um, not miserable, just oops, oops, gotta get up early if you're gonna get that cheddar. So there's, uh, looks like there's one left. Better get it while we're here. Open the hatch, lock the door. Alright. It's not all bad. I don't have a ton of energy and well to be honest. I kinda just want to be home in bed. And there's the green guy. Gotta stay out of his way. The garbage truck drivers never seem personally concerned with anything I'm up to. Always just smile on a wave. And I do whatever I can to stay out of their way. You know, because nobody wants to get crushed. And then, I don't know, I try to help them out too. Ah. Fit things into bins better and make sure they're in a spot that makes them easy to grab. Good morning. Just little things, you know? The garbage truck guys could certainly make my life a lot more difficult if they chose to. Hey, so could a lot of people for that matter. Or at least try to. Oh, hello. Sometimes there's a lot in these ones, and sometimes not. They might be buried a little deeper, I don't know. In fact, they usually are in that one. But, uh... The guy's wife just came out and dumped some in there, so I have a feeling she was probably watching. <sighs> I don't know. don't want to dig through it too zealously when I know... That guy's just got a really hot wife. Nice. Huh. 
I miss peaceful mornings. That's half a bag on this side. This loop doesn't usually get good until the other side. In fact, I could very easily just target the good ones that are on the other side. Not really miss much. I think one of these has a bunch of wine bottles sometime. Or no, that wasn't it. One of these has those, uh, those two liter milk things that they take the time to fold flat. Sometimes I miss them because the, they just don't look the same. There you see. That's all for this week. I wonder what's over there. I've never taken the time to look. Roots like that are what I miss out on using the car. Alex doesn't have a vehicle of any sort, he just walks or takes the bus. And he knows all sorts of little roots. Hold on. Kind, beautiful souls. Many blessings. The real MVP. That lovely gift right there, notwithstanding, it's not a whole lot out of that uh, side. To be perfectly frank, I'm not used to much of anything in these bins either. Now this row, in my experience, this is where it starts getting good. Actually, I think it's this one. Kind of weak, actually. Well, not this week, I guess. <sighs> Let's go home. I found a. Uh, <laughs> I just stopped at Pig and Pulp. I found a thing. Don't worry about it. Andy, my guy. You're riding pretty low today. Yeah. A lot of glass? A lot of glass, yeah. <laughs> that spine is, uh... It's got bad suspension, that's the problem. But he's for getting a new one right away. Oh, yeah. Got a, got a new vehicle coming, so that'll be nice. Dude, that's gonna be sweet. What is it? Blazer. Oh, yeah. 2,000-something Blazer. Oh, the gas is gonna be kinda kinda so killer on that. Compared to this one, yeah. Uh, she you did alright though. Yeah, not bad. Probably probably a bill? Yeah, close to that. It's usually what I get. <sighs> Just to give you a point of reference, I'm guessing this is gonna be about 20 bucks.
Lots of other stuff I gotta do. Today was no good. It was not a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Sun don't shine on the same dog's ass every day. Thank you. Alright. 26 bucks. Eh. That's what I get for sleeping in. Um, might as well talk about that a little bit more since people have been wondering. Um, there's a couple things I gotta do first, though. Quinn, the most professional looking of us all. Alright. It's all about how you look. <laughs> Sound quality doesn't matter. If you look like what you're, you know what you're doing, then, then you're good. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. Script. Storyboard. Uh, I don't know what dress to wear. I have three dresses. So, forgive the wind noise, I can't really do much about that other than hide in my car, and I'd rather be outside. Okay, so I finished editing, rendering, and distorted the upload from yesterday's video because I literally fell asleep in my chair last night uh, trying to finish that. So I needed to do that, and then I needed to quickly clean my car because um, Becca was going to trade me her van that wouldn't make it all the way to BC. Um, probably not. For my car, for a short time, for a couple days. Um, and then, the last minute, had somebody else uh, come through with a car that would work. So, uh, I still have my car, and I gotta say, um, I'm pretty excited about that because I didn't really want to lend mine out. It's nice to be helpful to people, but, um, and I was willing to do it, I just wasn't happy about it. So, now, um, there's a, a bit of a project. Brandon has a film project, and uh, I have been invited to help. So. Um, look forward to that right now. There's a lot of shots we need to get and only so much time to do. So uh, it's been a while since I used the kit lens. This is going to be different. We finished the first scene and now we are enjoying a very squishy walk through the woods for the next scene. Huh. Megan found a little hidden gem so we're going to shoot like here. Hercules! <laughs> Oh, and you're... And I'm Mink! Oh my god! <laughs> Brandon is making sacrifices for his art. Oh god. <laughs> Lights, camera, action. <laughs> Alright, that was a success. We're, uh, we're all cold and wet, but uh, feeling pretty good. Yeah! We I'm wet in all the right ways. Pizza party. Right on. Go team. Wait, oh, everyone in? <laughs> One, two, three, break! Yeah. Well, what a chaotic day. What a chaotic week. Like, I guess I'm just uh, really out of the groove at this point. I didn't think this was going to fall apart like this. I mean, halfway through, I was really feeling like, you know, I was doing well. And we were on a good projection. Um, so I figured I'd uh, go and chill and enjoy a night out. Uh, and that all fell apart. Um, that really jacked up my sleep schedule, uh, which threw everything else into a whirlwind. And uh, then people started calling me and needed help, and I just I love saying yes to stuff. I love being able to help people. Um, but combining that with all the things that I already had to do on any given day and had already agreed to previously, I just. Uh, I feel like I'm everything to everyone sometimes, and whew, more than I was actually reasonably able to handle. I think the biggest casualty of that was uh, this uh, this channel. Yesterday's video, today's video, just wow, that was too bad. That was not the way I planned this going at all. Um, and the people that I was trying to help, because I was kind of just super tired and stressed. And, oh well. I hope this didn't, um, I'm hoping it didn't come across as too negative. It's been... I do just need some sleep. This morning wasn't totally my fault because normally those areas don't get dumped quite that early. But I guess I'm just gonna have to get up even earlier. It's fine. It's fine. Really glad I still have my car though. Did not want to, want to just hand that off and wave goodbye. Or drive around a rickety van that needs a new everything. So to answer a couple questions that have been coming up in the comments, um, why would anyone call the cops? Well, because they're scared, I guess. Um, because they don't know what to think. 
um, because they're suspicious. Maybe they think um, an officer's going to show up and take me away and I won't come back or something. I don't know what they're thinking. Um, but it happens, and it happens because people are trying to protect their, uh, their neighborhoods from an unknown threat. So, if they knew how totally chill all my interactions with the police are, save for that one time, but that was kind of a different thing, um, then maybe, just maybe, they would come out of their houses and talk to me directly. But, probably not, because... Why don't people... Regardless, the other thing that people have been wondering is uh, the money. How much am I making? Um, what are th these things worth? Just I used to have a lot of fun throwing a wad of cash at the camera at the end of each video where I was actually out making money. Regardless of whether I said how much money it was or not, um, I stopped doing that. I'm not going to start doing that again for two reasons. The simple one, the first one being, it's just, it's disrespectful. People work really hard for their money, and that includes me. If it's crass and offensive when a rich person does it, then it's crass when anybody does it. So, uh, I put that away. And the other thing is I don't want to... I don't want to say specifically how much I make in case people get the wrong idea. Um, it's not that much, but some days are better than others. And if people um, saw a bunch of the good ones in a row, uh, they might start to think it was a viable career option. And it's not. It's really, really not. It's uh, a nice way to fill the gaps, or um, a stepping stone between something else and something that you're building. Um, not a long-term solution, definitely. I've seen people down that path. Don't want that to be me. You want to talk specific numbers, though? I'll give you some numbers. Um, this is 10 cents. 10 Canadian cents. Most of them are... 10 cents. Um, here in Alberta, uh, milk boxes work, juice boxes work, Kool-Aid jammers, um, little drinkable yogurts, the Yops, but also the smaller ones like the Denon or the uh, Minigo drinkables. Anything that is a beverage that has a deposit in this province and it'll be worth 10 cents. So a thousand of them gets you a hundred bucks. Um, these larger ones, by larger I mean anything more than a liter, that's 25 cents. Doesn't matter if it's glass, or pop, or milk, or water, it's just two different sizes, two different prices. Um, it's different in different provinces, and different states, and different countries. Now, uh, I showed you how much today was, just as a baseline. Um, I would say my average is like 50 or 60 and if I manage to cram that car completely full it's around a hundred dollars um, my personal best the absolute best day uh, I pulled in a hundred and eighty dollars so it's not common um, I think the only other time I ever got anywhere close was 160 um, and that also happened one time. Everything else was closer to 100 bucks. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's the numbers I'm given. <sighs> now, I think the way this week fell apart makes a pretty good example of why a daily video like this is not the best idea. Um, or probably more fair to blame it on me making some poor decisions because I'm... But this is real life, folks. It doesn't always go according to plan. So, uh, all the best on your week. I hope it went something like your plan. If it doesn't, eh. I'm not gonna hold it against you. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing. <laughs>